Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are tackling a common issue that many VMware users face, which is the dreaded, unable to open kernel device error. If you've run into this error and your virtual machine won't start, don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's dive right into it. So, what's triggering this error? Thankfully, the error message itself gives us enough information to pinpoint the cause. The key term here is VMCI, which stands for Virtual Machine Communication Interface. This feature allows fast and efficient communication between your virtual machine and the host operating system, as well as between multiple virtual machines on the same host. Now, VMCI is a crucial part of virtual machine providers like VMware, VirtualBox, and even Hyper-V. So, to fix this error, we need to focus on the VMCI settings. Let's get started. First, let's try fixing the error by editing the VMX file of the virtual machine that's causing the problem. The VMX file contains important configuration settings like hard disk allocation, memory, and processor limits for your VM. Locate the folder where your virtual machine is stored. Search for the VMX file. Open the file with WordPad or any text editor you prefer. Next, search for the line that says VMCI0 present. Change the value from true to FALSE. Save the file and close the text editor. Try running your virtual machine again. It should start up without any issues now. If editing the VMX file didn't do the trick, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall VMware Workstation. Sometimes, a fresh installation can resolve any underlying issues that might be causing this error. And that's it. I hope this quick guide helped you fix the unable to open kernel device error on VMware Workstation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.